So I, for some reason, was under the illusion that this month's unboxing would be kind of modest, and I think I was wrong. <laughs> We don't have any fairy loot special editions this month and I feel like that's why it does seem like it's a little bit less but we do still have four monthly subscriptions and one special edition that I got from Goldsboro. So we do of course have our usual suspects which are the rep packages. I am currently a rep for both the adult and the young adult fairy loot boxes so thank you very much to fairy loot for sending me these to show to you guys on my channel the adult is a book only monthly subscription with an adult fantasy book in and this one the ya one is a book with a selection of bookish goodies and all of the books the fairy loot books come in exclusive editions that are usually signed by the author we also have my rep package from Illumicrate, which is their regular monthly box. This one is once again a UK based sci-fi and fantasy subscription service. You get one hardback book in an exclusive edition and a selection of bookish goodies. The books in here I would say do fit more into the new adult category. You do get a bit of YA but they tend to kind of teeter throughout that like transitionary period between like YA and adult. If you do want to get your hands on Illumicrate after watching this video as well, I do have a discount code for you guys. My code is Becca5 and you will get a discount on a three or six month subscription. I then have the, I think this one's the locked library, which once again is double boxed. I'm not mad about it this time though, because for the first time ever, Brie has decided that she likes eating parcels. So we do have a little bit of damage to this one. And then the last one is the Goldsboro one. This one is a sequel to a book that I got in the Goldsboro subscription last year that I really enjoyed and I wanted to read book two. So um, I snagged myself a copy. I think there's three series of all of the Goldsboro ones that I read. I'm grateful to the subscription for and I'm also really happy that I get to have much in like special edition sequels of those books as well. And the Locked Library and this one are the ones that I paid for myself. So I have also lost my box cutter. I can't remember where I put it. So we're gonna be using scissors. I'm sorry, Ash, I know it hurts you. So we'll start off with the Illumicrate while it's right here. The book for this month, I think, is the newest Daphne Press book. And I've heard that it matches my June Patreon bookmark really well. So I'm really excited to see the edition. This is also the one that arrived the most recently. Oh, and we have some celestial theming in here which the yeah the book is going to be the new Daphne Press book the theme is night and day here are the spoilers if you'd like to pause and take a look I'm going to be going in blind and the theme for July is you win or you die oh the book of the month is an adult fantasy debut and the box is for fans of the Hunger Games and magic steeped in poison and the final strife which is a book that I've just read the sequel to it's one of the Goldsboro sequels that I got and I really really loved it so we'll start off with this big item which I feel is going to be a it's a ceramic bowl I really love subscription box kitchenware while I do have like a full set of plates and stuff I actually really like mismatched mugs and bowls and plates and that kind of thing oh my god you get two in here like with the plates I already know I feel that this is going to be my favorite item but we have a night bowl and a day bowl I use the plates pretty frequently as well so I'm so happy that we've got bowls especially because we hardly have any bowls left because Curtis smashes them pretty frequently but we have a day bowl and a night bowl I love useful items um, and I especially love me some homeware. The next item is fabric. Is it a cushion cover? It does seem to be. It is, oh, I like this. We have a day side and a night side. The theming of this box is going to be on point. I should have known when it was night and day that it would like hit all of my buttons. We then have this, which feels like it could be a coaster potentially. It is, once again, a night and a day coaster. We also have, oh, what are these? They're shoe charms, so you put your laces through them. That's pretty cool in the fact that like the theme is night and day, so you have a night and a day one. I like that idea. Am I going to use these? I don't know. I might put them on a pair of my trainers and see how they look because I don't want, I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll put them on and we'll see how they look and we'll decide if I like those. Then the last thing we have is, oh, I understand why my June bookmark matches the Illumicrate book of the month. It's because the theme of my bookmark was night and day. Oh, oh. I just see the edges on this. This is gorgeous. I don't know anything really about this book, but I have seen the proof floating around. 
and it is is it the sun and the void by gabriella romera la cruz the back of this says reina was a creature of the void with her whispering monstrous heart we have a lot of gorgeous foiling on here i guess the the benefit of the illumicrate books being daphne press books is that you get like a, a higher level of customization on them there's more um room to play there but the thing that i love about this is the way that the sprayed edges split in the middle that is so clever we also have custom end papers and foiling under the dust jacket of here and it is also of course signed by the author so as i said don't know too much about this so i will give you guys the full synopsis reina is desperate stuck living on the edges of society her only salvation lies in an invitation from a grandmother she's never known but the journey is dangerous and prayer can't always avert disaster attacked by creatures that stalk the region reina is on the verge of death until her grandmother a dark sorceress intervenes now dependent on the donor's magic for life Raina will do anything to earn and keep her favour, even the bidding of an ancient god who whispers to her in the night. Eva Kassar is wanted, illegitimate and of mixed heritage, Eva is her family's shame. She tries her best to be perfect and to hide her oddities, but Eva is hiding a secret, magic calls to her. Eva knows she should fight the temptation, magic is the sign of the dark god and using it is punishable by death. Yet it's hard to deny power when it has always been denied to you. Eva is walking a dangerous path, one that gets stranger every day, and in the end she'll become something that she never imagined sounds decent i feel like it's a similar fantasy plot to what we've heard before but that doesn't mean that the execution is similar to other books that i've read before oh we have really pretty like section pages so very solid box from illumicrate my favorite item for sure is the bowls but i also really love the cushion i like the design on the coasters these are the only ones that I'm slightly iffy about. This is the only item I'm slightly iffy about, but it might turn out that I like them once I've actually tried them on my shoes. And of course, as usual, down in the comments, let me know what your guys' favorite item from this box is. So next we will move on to the adult fairy loot. I don't think I've been spoiled for this yet. It's hard with the ones that arrive early in the month because by the time we get to this point, a lot of people are now posting them on Instagram and stuff, but I still haven't unboxed them. But I don't think this is one I've been spoiled for unless I haven't noticed it's the adult fairy loot book oh no i already knew what this was but i don't think i knew that this was the adult book i thought this was a ya book the theme is the underworld and the book i'm pretty sure is is it shanghai immortal i am interested to see the customizations which it has very pretty stenciled edges so far oh we also have what is it called a letter from the author on the back of this art which you don't normally get with the adult Adult box so this cover i think is the same as the standard cover but with a darker color palette i will of course overlay the original over the top but i really like how it kind of follows the cover round into like the sprayed edge we do have as well custom end pages with some pretty art that are different on each side oh we're printed this time i really like the color of this one and it is indeed oh that's really pretty look at that signature although it is a di digital signature i don't know if that matters to a lot of people it doesn't matter to me but i know some people do actually care whether it's a digital signature or not so the synopsis oh vampires did not know that half vampire half fox spirit all trouble found by her mother to the king of hell as a child lady jing is half vampire half holy jing fox spirit and all asshole as the king's ward she has spent the past 90 years running errands dodging the taunts of the spiteful hula jing courtiers and trying to control her explosive temper with varying levels of success so when jing overhears the courtiers plotting to steal a priceless dragon pearl from the king she seizes her chance to expose them once and for all with the help of a gentle mortal task with setting up the central bank of hell jing embarks on a wild chase for intel first through hell and then mortal shanghai but when her hijinks put the mortal in danger she must decide which is more important avenging her loss of face or letting go of her half empty approach to life for a chance to experience tenderness and maybe even love this richly told adult fantasy debut teams with chinese deities and demons cavorting in jazz age shanghai this sounds really good 
I, this sounds really good. I'm excited to read this one. Wow. So next up we have the YA Fairy Lou. Once again, not sure if I've been spoiled for this one. Pretty sure we're good. Ooh, this one's giving Little Mermaid vibes. The theme for this month is From the Depths. So I'm expecting lots of watery themed things. Here are the spoilers if you'd like to pause and take a look. I'm gonna be going in blind. The first thing we have looks, well, I say it looks like it literally says on the packet, reusable face pads. This is exciting because it's something that I wanted to try. Obviously good for the environment, but I'm really lazy about buying new things. These are so soft. But these are just makeup remover pads. You use them, or like face washing pads, you use them to take off your makeup. And then you throw them in the washing machine and you use them again. So that's actually a really cool idea. I like that as an item. We also have, this is very like light. It says, oh, it's a tea strainer. It's a Pirate King tea strainer. This is great actually, because I have currently broken all of mine apart from the silicon like Loch Ness Monster one. And I am lazy with buying things. So I haven't replaced it yet. But this one, has a little wooden like holder oh it's the daughter of the pirate king by trisha levenseller and it has a oh hi <laughs> it has a quote on it that says it's a bold and stupid move i like it and then the strainer like just sits in the middle there we also have a cushion cover in here this one is very pretty but it is is this um the girl who fell beneath the sea. I think it might be. This is really gorgeous. Like I love the art on this. However, pink and blue are not for me, <laughs> which is just a personal preference. So I'm not sure if this will be one that I'm using because I'm just, I'm not a pastel girly. We know this. Oh, we have a plate. This is turning out to be a great day for my kitchen. This one is inspired by the adventures of Amina El Sarafi and I love this. That is gorgeous we have oh is this two new bookmarks in the mythology collection it might be we have some sea gods down here this is number 11 and 12 in the mythology collection and these ones are poseidon and ocean to ocean okay <laughs> So it fits the theme of the box perfectly. And then the last items we have before we get to the book are the collectible tarot cards of the month. There are two of these in every fairy loot and eventually you will have like a full deck of tarot. And these ones are Achilles and Patroclus of course from i mean mythology but also from the song of achilles by madeline miller so last up we have the book of the month which i still don't think i know what it is but in here we also have the monthly fairy scoop the theme for next month is cruel intentions Ooh, and this one is for fans of only a monster one dark window the wicker king and there will be two other fandom neutral items in there as well this book also has a very pretty spread edge on it we also have a letter from the author on the back of this art and we should have there it is the monthly spoiler card art bookmark the book of the month goes this way i love the dark blue and green color scheme already and it is sing me to sleep by gabby burton i have not heard of this book have i heard of any books at this point am i even a booktuber sack me guys please oh we have really pretty end pages i just love the like really dark teal and like navy turquoise and gold color theme palette on here the back of this is a duty to protect a desire to kill an impossible love and under the dust jacket we are once again printed once again really like the color and oh it goes all the way around that's pretty she is also signed and the synopsis for this one is Sasha Sarkova survives on secrets as the last siren in her kingdom she can sing any man to an early grave but her very existence is illegal and if her true identity were ever discovered it would be her life on the line by day Sasha disguises herself as a fae pretending to be the perfect soldier in training by night she satisfies her darker urges to working as an assassin for dangerous mercenaries and all the while she keeps the biggest secret of all that she is not always in control of her siren power or her desire to kill. Then a blackmailer threatens her sister and Sasha's investigation takes her to the royal palace and her most dangerous job yet, personal bodyguard to the current prince. Sasha expects to despise Prince Hayes but he is kind, thoughtful and charming and she finds herself increasingly drawn to him until he tasks her with investigating a killer plaguing the kingdom. The problem? The killer is Sasha. Trapped by her deadly double life, Sasha can't leave the palace until she saves her sister, but who will save her from herself? I like the sound of this. The only thing 
that might put me off a little bit is that I don't think I've really read a water themed book that I've truly enjoyed. So it sounds good but I don't have a good track record with like Mermaid and Siren books. So we'll see how this one goes. Down in the comments, of course, let me know what your favorite item from this month's Fairy Loot box is. I love this box. I really do. But my favorite, I think, is the plate. But I really like these as an item as well, like the makeup pads. Next up, we will do the very batten, beaten and eaten <laughs> locked library book. This is the one that I've been spoiled for. I caught a glimpse of it, realized it was locked library and quickly scrolled away. But it is not a book that I recognize at all. So let's see what locked library has in store for us this month. I'm still very impressed with locked library books at the minute. Probably my, right now, my favorite subscription. I need to read some of the books. And like truly I do want to do a video like where I read all of the books, but I struggle, okay? like I'm not the fastest reader right now I got a lot of book clubs and stuff going on but I'm trying all right I'm really trying this is gorgeous oh look at that if it's celestial it has me by the throat okay like no questions asked this one is called the library of broken worlds by Aliyah Dawn Johnson I will overlay the cover over the top so you can see the difference the it's published by magpie which leads me to believe that it is YA because that's Harper's like YA fantasy imprint it's gorgeous under the dust jacket as well wow we also have the ribbon bookmark in here that's in all locked library books and we also have a bound in letter to the reader from the author. The synopsis says, in the winding underground tunnels of the library, the great celestial peacekeeper of the three systems, a terrible secret lies buried. As the daughter of a library god, Freda has spent her whole life exploring the library's ever-changing tunnels and communing with the gods. Her unparalleled access makes her unique and dangerous. When Freda meets Joshua, a mortal boy desperate to save his people, and Negui, a disciple from a persecuted religious minority, Freda is compelled to break ranks with the gods and help them. But in order to do so, she will have to venture deeper into the library than she has ever known. There she will discover the atrocities of the past, the truth of her origins, and the impossibility of her future. With the world at the brink of war, Freda embarks on a journey to fulfill her destiny, one that pits her against an ancient war god. Her mission is straightforward. Destroy the god before he can rain hellfire upon thousands of innocent lives, if he doesn't destroy her first. A girl matches wits with a war god in this kaleidoscopic epic tale of oppression and the cost of peace, where stories hide within other stories and narrative has the power to heal or to burn everything in its path. So sounds good, gorgeous edition. I'm really interested to see what the original cover of this looks like actually, seeing as I haven't heard of this one. And once again, I remain impressed by Lock Library's editions. And then our final one is just my Goldsboro sequel. This is the sequel to a three star book. And normally, I mean, three stars are just, they just ain't it for me. I think my least favorite rating is three stars because they don't even make good content because I can't even rant about them. You know, like I don't hate them. I don't love them. They're very meh. It's weird that I would purchase the sequel to a three star read, but the only reason why I gave the book three stars is because I felt like it just had no plot. I felt like it read like half of the first book in a fantasy series where we find out about the characters, we unlock some, we just learn about the characters, learn a little bit about their past, and then it ends. It feels like a prologue. It feels like a prequel to a book, which is why I gave it three stars because everything that I read about it, I enjoyed, but like, it, it didn't feel like a book. It felt like a prequel or something that should have been much longer. So I'm excited to get into book two because I'm hoping this is where the book actually, like the series actually starts. But this is The Hawkling by Rebecca Zahabi. So this is the sequel to The Colorbound. We have a purple edge on here. Goldsboro Specialize is signed and numbered first edition. So this one is number 466 out of 500. I think especially because book one, like this one was so short as well. Like this is 360 pages. I just felt like book one could have been 500 pages and would have been like a four or a five star from me. But this, okay, let me see if I can remember because it's been a while. This is set in a world where you have a magic school that's on the edge of a cliff. There are enslaved people in this world as well. And we follow a man who is enslaved. So he wears the slave collar but he doesn't seem to have a master and we follow a girl who is attending this magic school but she has a facial tattoo that marks her as part of a race that are treated very poorly. I can't remember if they're exiled but they're definitely treated very poorly even though she is not one of these people. So she's constantly kind of like looked down upon and treated very badly because of this although she's not actually 
part of that that people so the first book kind of just maneuvers all of the characters into a place for a plot to begin I really liked the world building I liked the characters I liked the political setup that we had but I just there just doesn't there wasn't the plot didn't start like it set up the plot but there was nothing nothing actually happening so hopefully book two does progress that because I do see a lot of promise in this series based on how much I really love the world building because to me with fantasy world building is half the battle if I'm interested in the world if I can believe in the world if it's well thought out if it's complex if it feels real you've already won half of the battle for me <laughs> so um yeah the world building was very promising and I hope I enjoy book two we have five very very pretty books very blue blue or black and white is the theme like I feel like these two look really good together and then these two look really good together in terms of favorite editions this month hey hammy hello boy in terms of favorite editions I think for me I think it might be the library of broken worlds I do really like that it's got my favorite edge on it though just because I like how it splits in half halfway through down in the comments let me know what your favorite edition from this gorgeous stack is oh I will turn it around as well so we can see this month's edges aside from that thank you very much to illumicrate and fairy loot for sending me boxes to show to you guys in this video down in the description box you will find a link to all of the subscription boxes that i've opened today all of their websites and also all of their social media as well as any discount codes that i have but aside from that guys please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna if you head to my description box you'll find a link to my goodreads instagram and twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as link to my bookish candle website the etsy for that and a 10 percent off discount code but that's it from me today guys bye oh you bite your friend like chocolate you say you will go where nobody knows with guns in under our petticoats we're never gonna quit it no we're never gonna quit it no